so be very careful about no entry hmm. now another very important this is very important so uh, default email address now you have two different ways of defining uh, how you send a email to a customer either you use it from the entry source so let's go back i'll try to show you i had created one data extension to show you all i don't want to I have to edit a lot okay so session one i said selected this forget all the things in the session one that i hope i have this data extension. okay yeah so this data extension i have this email address hmm. journey setting let's go back to journey setting if i say here as the entry source now this is showing which attribute i have to select there is one only attribute that is email address with the data type as email address so if you see the data type you see at the rate here right so it means it is of attribute data type is of email now if what happens is if you have multiple email addresses filled here like i say email address one email address two right then uh, it will it will create some confusion that's why it has a uh, drop down okay and you have to select so you'll say okay i want to send uh, email using this particular field that is email address or if you have multiple then you'll, you have to select okay email address one or email address two i think uh, somebody was asking a question at trail it was uh, how can i update how can i update uh, the email address to whom i need to send hmm. so initially they when they started a journey let's say here instead of email address they also had email address one and email address two two fields with email address data type and uh, it was working good all was honky dory uh, the journey was uh, well and good it was progressing well suddenly they realized that uh, they injected certain uh, customers where they should be using email address 2 not email address 1 uh, there is uh, not a out of box feature that they can update okay because first the thing is that you are using journey data and the second important thing is once the journey train has started you don't have options to update it hmm. or what you can do is the another option i think of is you can create a new version once you create a new version the old version of the journey it goes into uh what you say it goes into a finishing mode okay you have a different uh, uh a cycle of a journey that it will be is in the start and then will it will be running paused stop finishing so you have different stages of uh, journey if i find that maybe let's see journey data view hmm. i think somewhere that is captured if it is captured somewhere i can show you it's me what are the different statuses that happens for a journey so that will be more of a journey status okay so you have a draft state of a journey then you have a running state of a journey finishing step and the stop hmm. so when this finishing comes into a picture when you create a new version and you do not stop the previous version you leave it as it is then it becomes a finishing version means uh, those subscribers who are already in the journey already in the journey they will continue to flow in the same journey and once the journey is complete when the exit is happening here as I show you that in the journey, it always happens. There will always be the exit one. This is the exit, right? After nine days, the customer is exiting. So it will continue in this journey. And after exit only, you can inject into the another one. So this is the one what I was explaining here. Okay. So when you create a new version uh, of that journey, then you might have the ability. Okay. I haven't tested it yet. I haven't tested it, but I'm just uh, thinking then you can come to the setting and change from email address one to email address two. That might be a one of the possibility, okay? But I haven't tested it myself. Hmm. I think, okay, I'll stop here. Let me, my video, tell me till now, anybody has any questions or boring or something? Shashi, it's definitely you... not boring. Uh, this is interesting. I have one question. So, my question is let's say uh, i have a data extension and this data extension is getting updated so it is uh, based on override function so every time the new records are adding the uh, 
or the records are deleting from that data extension okay now i'm using this journey I'm, I'm sorry i'm using this data extension in a journey and in the journey i have kept the setting no re-entry so how the journey is going to find out that the record which i'm adding in that data extension is going to be a new record or not because the older records are getting deleted really good question uh, before answering let me hear from somebody else if uh, they have any questions or they are following what i'm saying Shashi, I'm definitely following what you're saying. I was curious if, uh -huh. ki, um, if there is a journey that I've created, like an onboarding journey, a welcome journey, you know, which typically form fills say, hoti hai, ya apne koi campaign run ke, which, which is an ongoing, wo khatam nahi hogi. and if I want to change an email address, so it's not going to finish. How do I move to the next one, next version then? Ah, not uh, like uh, you have a different set of questions. My answer was very restrictive, saying that the person who we injected, the subscriber who in who we injected earlier, they were happy, right? Uh, they are not modifying the email address. What I said was, uh, the first ten customers which I injected into this journey, I was using email address one. I'm not saying they are updating the email address. Okay, what I said was, uh after a certain uh, say after one month i injected new set of customers and they have given preferences they have given uh, opt in for not email address one but opt in email address two hmm. i don't want to basically you know overwhelm everyone so let's say uh, notepad I, i'm com i'm coming to you uh, sumit here is one of the very interesting one okay so before going there see this is how let's say you are in the uh, contact object in sales cloud so in the contact object what they did was they have different fields like id blah 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 and all so i'm mentioning id they have email uh, consent one okay so how they write let me just make it more much more better email consent okay uh, oh, underscore one and they say underscore underscore c huh this is one attribute they have in sales cloud hmm. and uh, they have another like one two three four they can have multiple objects right for email address email consent one email consent two blah 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 hmm. so let me let me make it one two three okay so uh, this is not definite structure what i'm saying i'm just giving in a hypothesis view like what happened mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. initially they said a uh, person one okay contact id this contact id one hmm, have given a consent to send a email to this particular so how to make a tick so let's say opt-in hmm. so they have an opt-in field also but this opt-in is basically pointing to this one hmm. opt-in is true Okay, but they are asking you send an email to this particular email address, email consent one. Okay, some other person uh, say after certain time elapses and they have some different use case or say they have a different design, and the person said opt in to see, right? So to consent to. So I have email address one, two, three. Hmm. Uh, this is a very hypothesis uh, scenario not a real time scenario just giving you like uh, it's like somebody asking a question saying okay for the another set of people who have came here i want to update it's not possible here uh, to be honest but i'm just giving a hypothesis scenario is if you create a new version okay and i say i create a new version i come to the journey setting and i select email address too i haven't tested myself also Didi. okay but i'm just saying that it can Got it, Shashi. I think Maybe. I understood that the scenario is different where we change object. So, uh, no, no. first no. object will then not be valid, right? No. See, yeah. the object will be there. In the data extension, all these uh, records will be there. Right? Now, uh, when you create a new version, the new people who are entering the journey, then they will start with opt-in with email address 2. Right? But again, again, if the same, the old one who has now, let's say, I don't want to complicate here. Okay, I was just trying to give my idea. Let's say entry anytime. Hmm. 
now uh, nidhi has given opt in to send an email address to consent one okay and sumit has given at uh, consent to email address true dono same aa gaya to problem to obviously hai hmm. there is no way but there is another way to how to deal with it which becomes very interesting is instead of going with the end resource okay i can go with the contact now when i say contact it means all subscriber okay for email address you have all subscribers hmm. now in the all subscribers you have a uh, subscriber key okay and the email address hmm. now uh, there are multiple ways to do it okay uh, if you people are not following me you stop here hmm. just stop me if you people do not follow now this is this becomes very critical to understand okay now you have all subscribers in the all subscriber the most important thing is the subscriber key and email address and when you say email address from contact it means a subscriber key will be looked okay and whatever mapping that happens with this subscriber key uh, the, that is associated okay these are the association so rather than writing it down I'll write it yahan pe email address okay so let's say subscriber key i'll say 003 something something okay 123 and let's say this is sumit at gmail.com hmm. what happens here is what i'm saying is i'll give you different scenario first and then i'll wait for you people to respond then i'll proceed so uh, i activated journey okay i have one subscriber this one with sumit okay he he was evaluated properly and he injected into a journey and he receives the first email where his subscriber key was this okay where his email address was this so it means initially in all subscriber uh, what happens is before sending an email there is no subscriber at all in your use case okay in your a uh, business unit there is no subscriber at all hmm. now once sumit receives an email contact will be created to marketing cloud okay and a subscriber is created a new subscriber is created uh, and uh, going back to the data extension when you make it sendable you have a relationship okay let me change this relationship so i'll say subscriber key hmm. so uh why oh, okay something wrong here ah huh, but here i'm modifying this isko wapas hi anyway i'll make it email address se subscriber ki kyun nahi but it has to happen hmm so uh, for now let me just cancel this but i'll try to explain hope so here i have this email relationship but consider i can basically change it to subscriber key hmm and when i'm sending an email address okay what happens is a contact is created or subscriber key with subscriber key is added and to whom i send an email this is added here hmm. now in journey setting i was saying add it to contacts so initially there was no contact there for sumit right what happens is when it goes to the omm here i say considering the omm i have a full picture if you people want to visit here i'll come to this it goes to the oma okay and first what it does is it first checks whether you have this subscriber in your all contacts or not okay if it finds the person is in the all contact hmm, then it says whether it has any relationship with the email address or not if it is yes then is fine if no it creates a new subscriber or it updates the subscriber okay so in this case there was no contact this contact got created and for this subscriber key this email address was added and sumit received an email hmm. now let me slow down nidhi did you follow till now what i was saying yes shashi it's clear to me okay now suppose say sumit modified his email address right so let's say sumit made his sumit ka i don't know date of birth but let's say i'll say sumit kumar or say sumit something hmm. so now he made this one 
So he updated his email address, right? Now, actually, when he said he updated email address, actually not in the all subscriber. We haven't modified it here. Hmm. So home local data extension was this. Uh, this was session one. Okay. So I have let's say uh, let's make this. So I have a data extension, uh, session one data extension, and I have this subscriber key and mostly the email address. Okay. So email address. So when it in when first we when Sumit injected. This was the value. Hmm. He entered the journey, and this is what it was in the data extension. Now you you were creating some update. Oh, sorry, it was Sumit. Hmm. So you had some query, and you were running the query, and this email address was updated to this, right? And uh, is here in the touch point. Say first, this email welcome email he received to Sumit at gmail dot com. Now, for product information, uh, I want to send that email address to his updated email address, that is Sumit Kumar. Hmm. So this is the basic criteria. So if I've said in the journey setting, okay, if I've said send it to the contacts, what I can do, what I can do, okay, abhi to yahan pe Sumit hai, is Sumit, okay, what I can do, I can basically let's see this okay i can have an automation hmm. and in automation i can have an import activity okay when we do automation we'll explain this as well we can have we can schedule an email activity hmm. in this automation and i can update the all subscriber with the new email address following me so what happens is if i have an, this automation schedule with import activity i am updating the all subscriber so the email address associated with the subscriber key will go to the all subscriber and update from sumit to sumit kumar is this clear now yes yes it is thank you Hmm. For others, it is clear now. Yes, sir. sir. Ankita, you are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes. Hmm. See, you people, if you don't become interactive, मुझे boring लग जाएगा. फिर मैं detail में नहीं जाऊँगा. Anyway, now the other part to this again. See, I am very much interested with all these things going. I go very deep. I that's why some people feel it very overwhelmed. हाँ, मैं I go very deep. If people ask questions, otherwise, I will go up and up and up. No problem.